Pandora's Tower is an action-adventure game for the Nintendo Wii, which has many RPG elements as well. This game contains similarities to many well-known franchises such as The Legend of Zelda, Castlevania, God of War, and Metroid. In the game you take the role of Aaron, a soldier desperately trying to save his childhood friend, Elena. Our hero accomplishes this by using a sword and weapon called the Oracle's Chain. You must then rip the meat from the monster's body and feed it to Elena to remove the curse. Now the gameplay of Pandora's Tower is categorized by two main weapon types. Throughout this game you can acquire and use a multitude of bladed weapons in fast and flashy combat, but the real strength of the title comes in the form of the Oracle's Chain. This chain can be used in many clever and satisfying ways and is directly linked to the IR pointer on the Wii Remote. Very similar to the use of the hookshot in the Legend of Zelda franchise, the chain can be used to reach distant platforms, aid you in pulling levers, and solving puzzles within the game's 13 dungeons. Additionally, the chain has many uses in combat as well, like using it to restrain foes which can allow you to concentrate on other immediate threats or leave them defenseless for you to attack later. It can also be used to hurl a foe to the ground or into other foes, which is always fun. But remember, the main point of this chain is to rip the flesh from the beast bones and feed the previously timid herbivore, Elena. <laughs> Unlike Xenoblade Chronicles and The Last Story, Pandora's Tower is the first original IP from its developer, Ganbarion, who previously worked on licensed anime and manga properties. The developer is probably best known for the Nintendo DS games Jump Superstars and Jump Ultimate All-Stars. The Jump series was an oft-imported crossover fighter featuring characters from Weekly Shonen Jump, a manga anthology that has featured series such as One Piece, Dragon Ball, Naruto, Bleach, and even Death Note. Gambarian most recently worked on a number of One Piece titles for the Nintendo Wii. Much of the music in Pandora's Tower is actually new recordings and variations of classical compositions from Tchaikovsky, Liszt, Caccini, and many other master composers. The rest of the game's music was composed by Yuichi Hirose, who's the in-house composer for Gambarian. The story of Pandora's Tower focuses on the relationship of Elena and Eren. Elena has been chosen to sing at her Kingdom's Harvest Festival, something she's wanted to do since childhood. During the festivities, the Kingdom is attacked by monsters, and Elena is struck with a cursed mark. The curse is slowly turning the delicate girl into a slug-like creature. Aaron rushes to her aid, and during their escape, they come across a strange merchant named Mavda, who has a skeletal creature on her back. The strange woman informs the couple of the only way to remove the curse. The kind-hearted vegetarian Elena is told she must devour the sickening heart meat of 13 elemental giants. The woman then gives Aaron the Oracle's chain and sends him off to save his girl from a fate worse than death. <laughs> Pandora's Tower is not Zelda, and it's certainly not Castlevania or even Metroid. Still, different is good, and Pandora's Tower is a rare, more mature game from the usually family-friendly Nintendo. Only thing missing from this game... yeah, I got nothing. While Xenoblade Chronicles and The Last Story are champions of the JRPG genre, Pandora's Tower represents the cult classic hack-and-slash goodness for the modern age. Plus, it definitely has that horror game vibe and grand-scale adventure from Beyond Good and Evil, but cranked to 11. Pandora's Tower is definitely the champion for the more recent games in the genre. If you enjoy games that dare to be different while pushing game narratives into excitingly new and dark directions, then Pandora's Tower could be the diamond you might have missed amongst the coal. Plus, it's the closest Wii owners will get to God of War, so there you go. With Xenoblade Chronicles in stores around the world and the last story on its way here in the US, Pandora's Tower could be the last hurrah for the Nintendo Wii, which could be the very last juicy morsel to savor before the Wii U era begins. For those of you who would like to help see the release of Pandora's Tower, please support Operation Rainfall by following the links below this video.